Off Highway 503 near Ariel, it's as small town as it gets. It's unique. It's wonderful. You know, Nirvana, whatever you want to call it. It's quiet. Dale and Chris Matthews have called this spot home for almost 30 years. Yeah, a lot of years of hard work and, and expense. Today, they're keeping an eye on the Big Hollow Fire and praying for rain. In this area, we're at level two, uh, so we're ready if we have to leave all of a sudden. We have chickens, we got, we got them out, and, and we got the dog and the cat out, so we're, uh, we're taking care of what we can. They moved a lot of stuff out last night, taking it to Dale's brother's house. Today, they came back home to reassess. It was, it was good news that we saw. Hope and pray to God that it doesn't come this way. Their life here wasn't built overnight, but if the winds change, they know that's how fast it could be lost. Yeah, it's scary to think that it could be gone in an instant if a fire comes through here. When you have an older forest or a lot of undergrowth and the conditions that we have had are insane, um, it, it takes out what it wants to. Right now, we're just gonna kind of hold it out. We're, we're putting sprinklers on. Uh, I've mowed around and made sure the grass is short. It might not be rain, but it's still an answer to prayer. The Matthews are doing what they can to save their home, and whether it's still here when the fire's out, what really matters won't be here if it does come knocking. I got my wife and me and dogs and chickens, and we're fine. We'll, we'll get out. We'll be okay. We won't make any foolish decisions, and we'll get out of here when we know we need to. In Ariel, Washington, John Goodwin, KGW News.